So first we're gonna talk a little bit about what you need to make your own dress form. So the first thing you need is paper tape, and you need the type that has the adhesive on the back of it that can be activated by water, okay? And you'll see that we have cut um, strips that are half as wide as the tape is, and then we've also cut some different lengths of full width tape here and have sort of put them in a basket and a box. And you wanna go ahead and, and pre-cut to different lengths um, because you don't wanna be unrolling the tape and trying to cut it as you are wrapping your person. So then we're gonna to have to have water to wet the tape and we've put this sort of bank of sponges in here and there's water in the bowl so that we can wet the tape across the sponges. And I have a pair of scissors in case I have to cut the tape down. And you may want to wear gloves because you will, the person who is wrapping the tape um, will definitely uh, get adhesive all over their hands. We're doing it. So we have Emily here as our model and she has on a t-shirt that is nice and uh, snug, but isn't like really stretched out. If you wear a t-shirt that's really stretched, it'll make your form kind of collapse when you take it off. So you want it to be snug, but not like uh, snug. And you want it to have sleeves um, because you want to be able to draw where her shoulder is when we get ready to do the shoulders. Okay? So we're gonna start with a really long piece of the tape and we're gonna do her waist first, her natural waist. That's the first thing we're gonna do. So I'm gonna have to tip this, I'm gonna, gonna do this. this I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna run my tape across the sponge to wet the adhesive, okay? And I just wanna make sure it's nice and wet all the way on the edges and everything. And that's how I'm gonna wet all of my tapes. I'm not gonna show that every time I wet my tape. But we'll just run it across there. And if your sponge starts getting a little dry, then you'll just wanna pour a little more water in it. And we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna go around her waist. And we wanna to try to keep this as parallel to the floor as we can so it's nice and straight around, okay? I'm just kind of, I'm going to cut this off now. Perfect. Okay. So now we have her natural waist here. And then we're going to take one more big long piece and we're going to do her under bust. All right. And this is the tape and I've cut it in half so it's half as wide as the regular tape is. How's that feel? Good, do you wanna look at the back? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it, oh. that's fine. <laughs> yeah, having the mirror here is really nice so I can see what's going on. If you see that you have any edges up, you just wanna kinda of smooth those out and make sure that they lay down, okay? We'll stick that piece there and it'll never come off. <laughs> okay, so once we do this, we kind of got our, our um, areas defined. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tape and I'm gonna cross it from back to front to this and the waist, okay? <laughs> Now what I'm gonna do is take a Sharpie and I'm going to mark the arms out with a Sharpie onto the t-shirt and the little bit of tape that I have there. I'm gonna mark it all the way around the arms eye. And I'm also going to mark the top of the shoulder, the center where the shoulder seam would be, just for reference as I'm working on here. And then we'll have her raise her arm I'll mark the rest of the arms eye underneath. And I'll do that on the other side 
as well. want to just do a little twirl so they can see. Is that too fast? Mm -mm. No, I think that's good. And as you can see up here, if we had a t-shirt that went up closer to her neck, um, but we're going to fix that because this is right at her jewel point. And so what we'll do is we'll measure her neck and we'll build it up to that point and actually build a little collar up there too. So. Okay, so this is our first layer. We have a few edges that are poking up, but we're gonna get those down with the second layer. And we've also taken a Sharpie and just drawn all over the first layer so that we make sure with our second layer that we cover all that, okay? So you can see where you've done it. Exactly, because in the first layer we could see the t-shirt and now we can see these squiggles and make sure that we cover everything with the second layer, um, which would be hard since it's all, the tape is all the same color. So we're gonna start with the second layer now. Now we're going to cut straight up the center back. We're going to be very careful. We're cutting the t-shirt as well, but we want to be very careful because she has a bra on and we don't want to cut her bra. So I'm keeping my hand between the form, the paper tape, and her body so that I make sure that my um, scissors don't cut where I don't want them to. And then we'll just have her um, easily, I mean, ease out of it um, and pull it down. When you take it off of the model, you may see that it's a little damp on the inside in places. So you can just take the dryer, the hair dryer, and dry that. And you want it to dry completely before you do anything else to it. Mm -hmm. 